Everybody, it's Grace. Welcome to Eating Peace this week. So I'm in my car, as you can tell, not in my kitchen. But I thought I'd spontaneously make this video on the fly for you tonight as I'm waiting in my car and I'm, I've come to an event where I'm, it turns out I'm 20 minutes early. And I'm just so enjoying relaxing in my car and looking at the people go by and hearing the noise of the city and totally enjoying myself. And I just thought, oh, I had thoughts about next Eating Peace video and I thought I could make one right now, which is something that's sort of beautiful and I want to share about a relaxation with eating and food that can be taken with you at all times. That I'm taking even um, an unplanned, you know, decision to decide here, sitting in my car, to share with you and talk about eating peace in this context, out and about in the world, where you don't really know what's going to happen next, or if you're going to be early or late for something, or maybe sometimes often what your next meal is going to be, and that you can take care of yourself. Many of us plan beautifully for what's going to be just right in that meal, where we're going to buy the ingredients, when we're going to cook it, what's going to happen. There can be some planning involved, but there can also be just spontaneously out and about in the world. And when you feel hungry, oh, time to figure out where the next meal is going to come from or where I'm going to go shop for food or how I'm going to eat something. But it's wonderful to be just open to any of those possibilities and to take a principle of relaxation with you. I would say this is a key principle of eating peace. And it might seem so simple, eating peace, peace is in the title, but relaxing, relaxing with what is, relaxing with what occurs. No one really knows what's going to happen, not even 10 minutes from now. We can kind of get a general idea though. You know, there's a balanced feeling about what's probably likely to happen and you know, depending on the situation and same with food, where it's going to come from, what we're going to eat. I happen to know what I'm probably going to be eating later on this evening, although I cannot know for sure. It's all in the mind. It's just an imagination. But I happen to know that after the event that I attend, there's going to be a gathering at a lovely restaurant that I've been to before. And there's a certain thing that I love at that restaurant that I'll probably order again because I'm like that. I repeat the same. Or if there's big gaps of time between enjoying the pleasure of that order and then the next time I go to that same restaurant, which there has been this time, then I might order the very same thing. I loved it before. I'm going to love it again. You know, I don't know for sure, though, what's going to happen. I could never have any guarantees. But I do know that I'm going to carry a relaxation within me. And I do know that I would never want to stuff myself because then I would not be relaxed. I, I don't want to overeat. I don't want to feel uncomfortable. I know I'm probably going to be hungry because it's quite a while until till I'll be eating food. And that's actually a total joy to be super hungry when I have food placed in front of me, especially at a restaurant that's been prepared well and that somebody's taken the time and that I'm, you know, enjoying the ambiance of the restaurant. I don't actually go to eat out to eat that often. Some people like to do it in their lives all the time. But I spend most of my time when I'm eating is at home. I work from home. I'm at home. I have a wonderful refrigerator full of the foods I like. Very simple. But so just imagine taking relaxation around with you and that knowing part of that relaxation is that you are not going to hurt yourself. You're committed to not hurting yourself. And for me, that is not overstuffing and also not getting too hungry. I don't like being too hungry. If I can plan that, you know, sometimes it happens. Sometimes you just can't help it. There's no food around and many hours go by. And then that's okay. No one's fault. It's just going to become more and more important to find food. Just like if you were super thirsty, it would become more and more important to find water. But you can bring that with you. And a little beautiful uh, picture for this meditation of opening up and committing to relaxation at all times when it comes to food and eating was shared with me by uh, an eating peace 
client, an eating peace practicer, she um, shared with me just the other day that this vision I have that I've shared of lying down, if you ever feel, start to feel a little bit anxious and you feel hungry and you feel like you've got cravings coming on and you're not sure if you're ready to eat or not ready to eat or you just have any kinds of questions or you're frightened about the food that's offered and what ingredients are in it and it's getting a little carried away for you. You know, you're moving out of relaxation. If that ever happens, one thing, one method I have that I love is called the lie down method. You can pretend or actually do it lie down. I don't care if you're lying down on the floor or on the couch or going into your bedroom and lying down. Now, some places that we are, like right now in my car, I can't lie down, but I can pretend. You know, if I started to get sort of, I could just, it's what I was doing before I made the video. I was just looking out the window and enjoying myself and it's kind of a meditative state, leaning back in my car, very pleasurable, very sweet. But the thought of lying down just playing dead, lying down like a dog would, you know, when you're trying to relax your puppy dog, lie down, sit. <laughs> you can do that with yourself in a really compassionate way. So she knew this practice, the lie down practice, you know, it could kind of abort a process and, and relax. And she said that what she had added to it was imagining falling into a bed of soft feather pillows with all the blankets poof flying up in the air and you just wafting down and landing in the middle you can imagine that you know what the feeling would feel like to just land back in this beautiful feathery bed what a sweet image and to think of holding that if you can't actually physically lie down so if you ever feel a craving or that um emptiness that might begin at the end of the day or a typical time when you feel upset and nervous and you start to be anxious about food or eating. Another person shared with me once that where he finds upset around food and eating is in gathering with his friends, like uh, watching the football game in all the guys getting together after the gym and people, you know, eating, eating the burgers and fries and having beer, and that uh, something about that, he would always just join in and not want to eat a salad and have club soda or whatever the other alternatives that he had heard about. He was afraid of being made fun of. It was a really interesting process for him to recognize that. But so when he, he had this lying down image in his mind, it would just be a feeling of lying down an urge to have to join in to be accepted. And he actually found very quickly that all the people that he thought would make fun of him or all the teasing that was going on was actually quite light and funny and it meant no harm. And his friends were totally accepting and even thumbs up with the changes that he was making in his food and eating when they were in a group together so he could still enjoy their company and change his food. And he had a feeling inside first of lie down, relax, rest, just taking rest with you absolutely everywhere. It's like meditating while you're walking around doing your thing out in the world. So this evening I'll go to my event and I will be meditating on the inside and then I'll go to the fabulous restaurant that I love with all the people, which is kind of a less than introverted thing to do. You know, it's busier and people and activities and conversations. And I will, I'll be lying down on the inside. I'll just rest and relax. And what I notice is there's no urge for food to grab you and kind of take you, which does not feel relaxing at all for a craving to come along, for a sense of urgency to happen when you feel that peace within and everyone's got it, you've got it. Even if you haven't felt so comfortable with food or eating, it's possible to just rest, to just let go and flop to the floor in your mind. All right. Let me know how it goes. Take care. Bye everyone.